So we got the, the chance to speak to somebody local. So this one was an old show, does not matter. And now is um, eight letable bedrooms, but only one, only, only seven allowable. Yes, basically this house that um, we're look at, we, we looked at, these two houses, we've got both very long term future, 41 minutes, so we're going to go there, I'm going to go to Sunderland first, and then on the way, I'm going to go to the loo, because I can't find any petrol station there, so... So the next house we're going to see is a six bedroom house just adjacent to the university. They're trying to sell it for 90 odd thousand. And yeah, it's a, my God. Wow. So they're trying to sell it for, for 90 odd thousand. Oh, it's actually Northway. Okay, never mind. Recenter. It's north. Never mind. North, south, doesn't really matter. Oh, I've got to get, got to get it to charge. This is this charging where? It's charging there. Oh, here. Yeah. Need to charge. So this one was an old show, does not matter. Um, the, the, the good thing that we got the, the opportunity to speak to somebody who's local. Let's look at get this camera a bit better. So we got the, the chance to speak to somebody local um, who gave us an idea what the prospect, perspectives are of the area in the future because uh, you're counting on double the, the gains. One is the rental income. Then you have the capital appreciation. Both of them are good for you. So, and then if the area is getting better, there's going to be more demand for housing, which is going to be good. So, basically, really, this um, the feedback that I've got is a uh, all all in, basically. It, especially this 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 first house, the the first house is already set up as an HMO. Um, I'm on. They get if they. Say yes to 76, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna shut up and take it.
gonna write the big check and shut up. Let's see that I can get into that. I'll do because I need to go to the toilet, damn it. I need to go to the toilet. I'm desperate. Oh, there's an Asda there. Should I go to the Asda? There's the Asda there. I need to go to the toilet. So yes, it's now, it's now, as far as I'm concerned, I've made my mind up. The 76, there's very little to, to be f afraid of. Even the, the other one, the, the second one, it's just the, the amount of cash it's gonna take in order to, to make it worthwhile. Which is a lot. Uses a blank canvas. But then, once it's done, it's done. Once it's done, it's, it's working. That's the thing. I mean, once it's working, you're safe. I'm just looking for a toilet. I need to, to go for a number two as well. I need to shit. Really. I need to be a bit of a shitter. The McDonald's is so freaking big everywhere. McDonald's, but apparently McDonald's make money. What they do with the money? They invest in real estate. And so whatever happens, basically, <laughs> the company is going to be really strong anyway due to real estate. And that's what I'm, I'm doing as well. Whatever money I make comes around it's going to get back in real estate. In real estate, real estate, real estate. That's what. Any savings, real estate. Houses, land. More houses than land. Because land doesn't actually, until there's some use to, use, use to it, there's no point. And then if you remember this uh, Super Size Me uh, documentary which, which should have hurt McDonald's really badly, it doesn't really matter. 
the reason is very simple. Why does it not matter? Because they've got so much real estate. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. When they've got a lot of rental income, they can actually take the other part of the business out for ever, virtually. There's still bread on the table. So they shouldn't, there's no reason for you to fear anything. I remember uh, over 10 years ago, in 2008, I used to come down, uh, go down to England from Scotland and doing it consistently every weekend, looking at houses. And then I found the student houses, the six bed student houses. I couldn't get it because of uh, the mortgage wouldn't allow it. But it took me a while in order, and then I remember it took a week off. Just I said, because I could get well, I had cash. I had a, I had cash. I had the banks willing to give me money. Well, there were plenty of deals that we had. Plenty of deals to be had, and. I said, well, freaking hell, I've got I've to invest this freaking cash. So, when the when I realised that the deal I wanted couldn't actually go ahead, and I spent, I think, a couple of months on it. Then I said, that's it. I took a holiday because I'm always... Holidays, uh, when I used to have a job, I, I treated it like money. I just save it. I don't overdo them. I, I know because I, I, I make and I need them. So, and I use them for, for that. So I found the, the house in Lincoln. As soon as I walked in, I had a number of viewings set up. I, I wasn't thinking about buying that one, but as soon as I walked in, I knew. I knew as soon as I walked in, it was it. And I realized there was so much potential. And now is um, eight lettable bedrooms, but only one, only only seven allowable. But for nothing. Literally. Did I regret it? No way. Great. Look, it's not true that um, if you if you buy a house, but whatever, whatever you do, buying a house or flats or whatever, it's gonna it's gonna be a good idea. That's not true because. House prices can actually go down in value, depends what you buy. But eventually they will go, eventually over the long period of time, they will go up because of the, the fact that money gets printed all the time. So in a recession, they will go down for a number of maybe years. Then they will recover, will actually get better later on. So, it's, um, when you say as safe as houses, it's true, but, but if you buy rights as an investor, 
you buy it out to, with your uh, margin of safety, then it's not a problem. But even if you buy wrong, in the long run, it's going to be right. The first flat I bought was wrong buy, but for too much, too expensive. But yet, because it's been let, it is it, it is let at the moment. That tenant stayed there forever. So it's been for uh, for the mortgage, the interest and repayment. It's not my burden. It is not my burden. That's the beauty of it. So someone else, I made that. I took that loan. Someone else is paying it. It's been that loan. Absolutely love that. I paid that loan myself, I think, for one and a half years, two years, and I let it out. <laughs> but even then, when I lived there, I didn't even, actually, technically, I only paid myself for maybe six months because I, I, let, a few, I let two rooms out. So, technically, I was fine. Technically, I didn't. Maybe I paid for it myself, all in all, get the void periods and so on, maybe for a year. Maybe. If such. Maybe. The rest. Other people done it. So, and what? I think was left on it. 17 years, maybe? 18 years of. And then it's gonna be done, then it's gonna be paid off. When it's paid off, that's it. It's mine and someone else paid for it. Easy peasy Japanese. So do I regret buying the first one? No way. But the point is, buy right. Uh, I don't think. I mean, I don't think it's it's completely wrong to 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 invest where you live. But the point is, invest. Just buy where you live, and make sure that if you take on a mortgage, the mortgage can actually be paid by somebody who rents it. Don't be scared of it. Even if you're doing something else and then you have to sort things out, it doesn't take long to sort things out. A bit of painting, a bit of... Even if you want to do it yourself when you first start, it's not that bad.
and it's actually they've got a signal here. Really? Mm -hmm. so look. Oh, there's people in. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, that's good. One of you. Okay, we're just going to view the property. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that your room? Yes. Yeah. It's a big room, eh? Yeah. Okay. That's what is this? The wall that put my car. Okay. Feel free to have a I'm just going to watch the car because it's part. Yes. Yes. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And there's off street there's off off street parking in as well. Is there? Oh yes, so a look, so a look. So is there off street parking? Hmm. It's only on the back street. There's no parking with the shutter there, the shutter doesn't work. Oh, the shutter doesn't work. No. You can only park on the back back street. Otherwise, Not I mean, really if that if this works, actually, no. we can... No? no. Sorry, does this it? Work. Yes, but if it's fixed, there's... Uh... Yeah, if you fix this, then that's totally fine, then you've got a good space. Normally, you have to park on that road on the side of the back street. So I think it's not. Side. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a car. Do we go park here? Yeah? Easy. Yeah. It's very short. But it okay. Looks short. Looks short. Fine. Yeah. Well, that part is not. It's not the house. It's is next. Yeah, they park there. Every single body parks on the back side. Like who's got a shell at the back? Oh, they, yeah, they manage to do it. Yeah, but why are you here on your own? Is it no one else? There's one in this one. I think these are it. All oh, right. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to go upstairs. Sure. Yes. So on. Um, of course, of course. Yes. Yes. So one toilet. So one toilet here. Just a single toilet. It's not even a wash basin. So wash basin, I don't even think there's wash basin could actually be placed here. Could that's the bathroom. Wash basin here. This repaired. Done cheaply. So one, two, three. So two, three, four. So our box room is not even. This is not even six square meters. One, two. So yeah, some three, three, three. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Let's say no. So I'll ask him a question if that's okay. Excuse me. Yeah. So how much are you paying um, for two forty? Two forty a month, yeah. all inclusive. Yes. All inclusive. All yeah. oh, right. Thank you. Thank no you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. 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 All righty. 
Yes, yes, that's fine. Excellent. That's okay. fine. Thank you, thank you. You know whether a Sunderland Council has got an Article 4? I don't. I don't Okay, that's okay. Thank you. Yes, so I'm making this very, very quick video um, to re respond to a few customers asking the same same question over, over and over and over and over again. Does the sump remover or serene remover leave any scar? There is, the, the, the answer is, um, so far, we've sold over a thousand of these products the world over. We haven't had one single report of one single scar. So zero scar has been reported so far. However, we do not guarantee that there's not going to be any scar-free results because in order to remove these um, lesions, you have to ablate the skin. When you ablate the skin, there's always a risk of scarring. So, so far, there hasn't been one single reported scar um, after over a thousand products being sold the world over. However, if you read the terms and conditions and the instructions, you'll see that we do not guarantee that there's not going to be any scars left. Okay, hopefully that answers the question. So thank you for watching this video. And if you'd like to invest with us in this sort of project, we'll give you 6 to 10% return on your money so if you have cash and you want it to work hard for you invest with us invest with Ariton and Andreas Investments Limited in this type of project so we'll give you between 6 and 10% on your money for more information get in touch with us